Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is the big day, uh, for, well, for, for most of the U.S. anyway, because um, today is the big 2024 uh, Great American Eclipse. Right? Did I say it right? Great American Eclipse. It, it probably is. Uh, well, the eclipse is going across the mainland United States, right? So, I am driving to Toledo to be on the path of totality. Michigan will get about maybe 99% of, of the sun block, but I I just want to be in that path. I've never been uh, in that path, and I guess the next time it'll happen uh, will be, what, in the year 2042 or something? Um, I don't know. I've, I've heard it's going to be in the year 2040, something, or whatever. Um, so I'm going to take this opportunity to actually be in that path, in in that moment, uh, once in a lifetime moment, I guess, um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Weather permitting, obviously, um, but even if there's clouds in Toledo, it would still get dark, right? So I would still be in the path of totality, and I call that a win. Um, I just have to grab a couple of things before I actually start driving there, and I will take you with me. All right, folks, I am with, uh, guess who? Tish, right there. We are going to go to Toledo. We are going to watch the eclipse. Yes. And my yogurt. Yep, so we're going to go to Toledo because we want to see the uh, the path of totality because I've never seen it in my life. And come on, it's oh, kind of like once in a lifetime thing right now because who knows? Maybe I'll die tomorrow or whatever, right? No. Nah, no, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah, live We're... It's supposed to be good luck. I thought eclipses, when you get a chance to see them, it brings there we go. forth prosperity and blessings. That's what it's going to do for us. This is why I need Tish with me, right? Yeah, because she is the positive. Yes, I need some help. Yeah. <laughs> I need to help my cram, my graham crackers. Help her with that. And my cran juice. Sure. And I'm just going to grab some paper towel and I'm ready. Ready, Ray. Okay, let's go. All right. Good, because I need paper towels. <laughs> Let us go! Right. What is an eclipse anyway? Well, and there's three things, actually four things that you need for an eclipse to occur. You need a sun, you need a moon, you need Earth, and orbits. Mm -hmm. Now, from what I've been hearing from scientists, we always have eclipses every year, about twice a year, but it, uh, we don't see it because the the path, the shadow of the moon, mm -hmm. uh, because of how the the um, orbit of the moon is not really straight so it requires that all these three celestial bodies the sun the moon and the earth mm -hmm. needs to be lined up and it only happens 
ones in a blue moon. Okay. So it's a big deal because now we are actually in the path of, of this eclipse. Gotcha. And um, if it, you're in path of totality, that means you are really in that path of, you know, where that shadow of the moon is, is pointing towards the earth. So the the intent of the, the the actual solar eclipse happens how many times? Like how many years does it does it occur? It de other? it depends on the math. Oh. Uh, now I don't want to be I, I just don't want to um, say anything here because it requires a certain math okay. to predict it. But okay. scientists are saying that there's always an eclipse happening somewhere okay. in the Earth twice every year. Oh. And we don't see it because. Mm. The shadow of the moon is not doesn't pass to you know where people are. Mostly, it happens in the Pacific Ocean. Oh, gotcha. Some, so we won't know. Middle of nowhere, <clears throat> um, and then once in a blue moon, it, things like this happens where it's going to pass through large cities. Mm -hmm. Thus, They're giving us opportunity. So yeah, so us and the rest of the nerds, because this is some real nerd stuff going down right well, now. Well, you are with a nerd, so <laughs> I'm nerd too. There's some real nerd stuff happening I mean, right I, here. I mean, I'm wearing an Artemis cap in here. That's like the <laughs> yeah, NASA's new mission. I got my glasses mission. on. You look good, by the way. <laughs> That's the uh, Artemis mission is NASA's um, mission to go back to the moon. Which I'm excited about because, you know, I was not born yet during that time. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I'm also wearing a Starfield uh, shirt here. At the, that space <laughs> game that I love so much. Yeah, that is some real nerd stuff going on. Nerd. But that's okay. I'm with, Nerd I'm here. with you on this. <laughs> well, fine. It's so funny because I was telling Tish that, you know, when I was explaining this to my mom and my sister, they're like, no, I don't want to hear it, blah, blah, blah. Right. I remember Ross and Friends, mm -hmm. you know, when he started ge geeking out and, uh, you know, the friends are like, no, I don't want to listen to it. I'm like, and then Tish asked me what an eclipse is and I'm like you, you got a real nerd I'm like I want to understand what this I Here's might not eclipse. remember what you told me but I get he got nerdy men you have to accept it when there's so many people here well Tish and I found a back road that saved us about 17 minutes so staying positive here yeah it should be good <laughs> Yeah, we're watching a live feed of it. Now, that's real nerd stuff right there. We're watching a, a live feed. We're watching while we're a nerd on our way. watching this thing, and Tish is driving to this thing with her resident nerd, which is me. And he's got sixteen thousand people watching it with him, including us. And I'm okay. You know what? I'll I'll wear the badge of nerd. Oh, Love it. All right, fellas, we are in uh, Luna Pier, Michigan. This is the only place or well I guess city I think this is a little town in Michigan that will get the path of totality and apparently I, I read the other day that the mayor of the town told people to not come here for this event because they are not equipped to handle it which is unfortunate and this has a little piece about it I think it's stupid why would you not want people to come to your town when there's an event that may only come around one time and allow you to be able to have revenue generated for your your city one time only look you know right. let them come and buy up all the juice and water in your uh dollar general the only one you got in your town then come back and count the money because this is something that is a one-time event you got to think people you got to think this is a blessing coming in tell them come on Come to my little city. Come to Mayberry. We can accommodate you. Right. But it's over now. Yeah. We're still, we're on our way. We're still going. 11 minutes now. Hey, it's green now. Look, yay. I think we're at, we're going back to the freeway. <laughs> That's good. So we got a detour. We got a scenic route. Got a chance to just look at the yep. site. The sightseeing. All right, folks, we are in Ohio. We just crossed Ohio, so yay. All right, so there's five Green more night. minutes. Um, so we should be there by 1.45 to where we're going. Hopefully it's not packed. But you know, at this point, you know, anywhere in the area, you should be able to get that locality. So it's not even gonna be a yeah, problem. Sure cool. Yep, all right, see you later. All right, folks, we are here. Uh, this is a park called Cullen Park here in Toledo. And this is where Dish and I are going to 
watch the path of totality. Well, hopefully those white stuff gets moving before 3.15 p.m. But hey, either way, we're, good. we're in the path of totality and that alone is worth it for me. Hey fellas, so my plan today is to capture this celestial event uh, with three cameras. I'm gonna use my Canon to capture, you know, just the area and then Tish and I watching the eclipse. And then my phone, that's where I'm going to capture the eclipse because for some reason the Canon didn't want to play well with the um, filter that I bought. I guess it's only for the cell phone which is this little guy right here. So that is the plan. So right now I'm just setting up where Tish and I are gonna be. So we're just gonna go ahead and plan on squatting in here. I have a little foldable stool in here that I love. I took this to Yellowstone and it was phenomenal. There's Gamora and some people. Now I'm going to start to check the sun to see if there's that first bite. Alright folks, Dish and I locked and ready to see this for the first time. First I didn't see nothing. Yeah, so you, you saw the I didn't realize lower I right corner. To look at the sun. You have the. <laughs> what do you think you were going to look at? <laughs> I think it's time to get a drone shot because uh, I wanna. My vision is for the drone to capture the moment things go dark. Um, I think I should be okay with battery for the drone. I have three of them, and one battery I think lasts about almost 15 minutes. So if I start it just before the totality, we should be good. But I want the drone to have like a landing pad. So I'm gonna use my this that I ottoman thing that I have so that it has something to land on. Because grassy area and drone not good. So I got my drone. It's a little landing pad. Alright folks, so it's about two forty three right now. Um, and 30 minutes from now, we would be in totality.
folks, as you can see, now it's dim, right? Well, there's clouds, but I can tell you it is mm -hmm. dim because we almost have the, because we always got the sun covered. So. It's like nighttime. Yeah, and it's also getting a little colder. <laughs> Did you but that's me. I'm always cold. <laughs> this is this is my this is my temperature right here. This is why we do this. Oh my god. Alright, and I, I think now we're gonna see that diamond thing. You filming me, filming you? Okay, now there's a diamond ring fish. Look. Oh, I see it. Oh, wow. Diamond ring. Woohoo! Wow. Right? You can't see it in the camera. Yep, you, you, as far as you can. It's one of those things where you just you need to see it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, now we're getting back. Yeah. We're going back. We've got what we came here to do. It's. We are too small.
to be worrying about negative stuff. Because that right there is going to keep going, even without us. Folks, I'm ending it here. Um, this is definitely one of those memorable moments of my life. <sighs> yeah, just go ahead and do something that will make you happy. I did this today, and it did make me so happy. Until the next one, I'll see you later.